Hi, this is Paul from The Pond Guy, here to talk about Water Garden 101 and understanding the five key elements to a clean, healthy, and balanced pond ecosystem. A healthy, well-balanced ecosystem is the perfect environment for fish to thrive, plants to flourish, and to keep your water crystal clear. Creating and maintaining this ecosystem is easy once you have a basic understanding of the nitrogen cycle and how it works with Mother Nature instead of against her. In its simplest form, the nitrogen cycle works like this. First, fish are introduced into the pond and a short time after, other debris, such as leaves, twigs, and fish waste accumulate in the pond and begin to decay. As they decay, they release ammonia into the water. Ammonia is toxic to aquatic life and at elevated levels can be fatal to fish. Next, with the help of nitrosinomas and nitrobacter, also known as nitrifying bacteria, ammonia is broken down into nitrites and ultimately into nitrates. Nitrates are a nutrient source and not only feed aquatic plants, but fuel algae growth as well. Finally, in addition to the food you feed them, your fish will consume aquatic plants and algae, thus completing and repeating the nitrogen cycle. Because nature takes its time to establish a healthy population of nitrifying bacteria capable of maintaining this delicate balance, we've put together the following five key elements to accelerate this process to help you create and maintain a flourishing ecosystem. The five keys to a balanced ecosystem are fish, filtration, aquatic plants, aeration, and natural water treatments. The first key element we're going to talk about is fish. Fish, such as koi and goldfish, can add color and excitement to any water garden. However, overcrowding can cause excessive algae, water quality issues, fish disease, and elevated levels of ammonia, which can be fatal to fish. Overloading your water garden with fish is by far the most common mistake made by pond owners. To keep your water garden balanced, we recommend starting with a smaller fish load. As a rule of thumb, and with adequate filtration, we recommend one to two koi, or two to three goldfish per 200 gallons of water. Remember, fish will naturally multiply and grow. So keeping fish loads to a minimum ensures your water garden will be able to continue to support them as they age. The next key element we're going to talk about is filtration. Filtration does two very important things to encourage the nitrogen cycle. First, mechanical filtration, such as skimmers, filter brushes, and foam pads, limit the amount of organics that accumulates in the water garden by capturing visible debris like floating leaves, twigs, and fish waste. They can then be easily removed from the pond before they begin to decay and create more ammonia. Second, biological filtration, such as waterfall filters, in-pond filters, and pressurized filters, eliminate invisible waste, like ammonia, by introducing a living tool, nitrifying bacteria. Biological filters contain filter media, such as filter pads, that work by providing enormous amounts of surface area for nitrifying bacteria to grow. Nitrifying bacteria then feed on toxic ammonia and nitrites and convert them into nitrates. This is why it is important to size your filter system correctly to handle the amount of waste being introduced to the pond by the fish and the surrounding environment. With your filtration system breaking down ammonia into nitrates, the main nutrient source for algae, the next step to a balanced pond is to limit the nitrates. A great way to do this is with the third key element, aquatic plants. Aquatic plants are often underutilized in water gardens. Pond owners add plants based on aesthetic appeal. However, they provide your water garden with so much more. Aquatic plants consume nitrates to grow, thus limiting the available food source for algae. In other words, more plants means less unsightly algae. Aquatic plants also provide your fish shade and cover from predators. We'd recommend to cover approximately 40 to 60% of your pond's surface area in aquatic plants. This should be a mixture of plants including floating plants such as water hyacinth and lettuce, submerged plants such as villicinaria and hornwort, bog plants such as cattails and iris, and water lilies as well as lotus. Since each plant blooms and absorbs nutrients at different times, having a variety of aquatic plants ensures they are always providing your water garden with the maximum benefit. The fourth key element to a balanced ecosystem is aeration. Although the splashing of waterfalls and fountains adds some oxygen to the water's surface, diffused aeration kits such as the Pond Guy Water Garden Aeration Kit are much more efficient at not only adding oxygen, but circulating water throughout the pond. Out of all the elements, proper aeration is the one that has a positive influence on all aspects of the nitrogen cycle. By continuously circulating and saturating oxygen into the water, 
Aeration encourages more effective mechanical filtration by lifting debris from the pond's bottom, fuels the growth of nitrifying bacteria in biological filters, and provides a healthy environment for plants and fish to thrive. Aeration can be used during the winter months to ventilate and circulate the water under the ice, allowing toxic gas to escape and keeping your fish safe throughout the winter. The final key element to a balanced ecosystem is water treatments. Throughout the season, influxes of waste from growing fish population, falling leaves, and rainfall can cause algae, murky water, and other water quality issues. Water treatments such as those found in the defense pack help keep your pond from straying out of balance throughout the season by breaking down organic waste, removing excess nutrients, and maintaining clear water. Now that you have an understanding of the nitrogen cycle and the five key elements to a balanced pond, you can look forward to a clean, clear, and healthy pond all year long. For more expert tips, visit us online at thepondguide.com or give us a call at 866-POND-HELP.